Salutations, my viewers! This is part 13 of my Super Mario 64 replay. It's time to play the next main course of the game. And it's in this small painting right here. This leads to... Okay, so this leads to Tall Tall Mountain. Yeah, first we had Cool Cool Mountain, and now there's Tall Tall Mountain. So the first course, I mean the first challenge of this course, is to get to the very top of the mountain. And I'm gonna take a shortcut. There's a wind current right here. Take it, and it'll take you up to this part of the mountain. Oh, look who's back. It's good old Chuck, yeah. And you miss. Oh, wrong button. Away with you. I'm gonna jump down here real quick because there is the pink bob bomb, which will open the cannon. And I am gonna need that cannon for, well, only one challenge of Tall Tall Mountain. And now I gotta go back up there. Now I feel like that I'm gonna have to make edits to the rest of the parts of this playthrough because the last, uh, I believe there are three main courses left in the game. And those last three courses are really annoying. Including Tall Tall Mountain. There are many challenges where you have to keep climbing up the mountain, and you really don't want to fall off it. Falling is pretty much your worst nightmare when it comes to this course, and also a future course called TikTok Clock, which I won't be getting to until later. Back off, Goombas. I have a mountain to climb. Hey, you know what? I think I'm gonna jump into this wall. This leads to a secret area of the course, which is a slide. But before I do that, there's the one nut mushroom right here, and a coin on the other side. Not that it's even important, you know. And yes, getting through, or, or getting to the end of this slide will give you a power star. Oh, and much like the slide in Coal Coal Mountain, this slide has a ton of coins for you to get. And you can definitely collect as many of these coins as you can whenever you're doing the 100 coin challenge. Oh boy. I will not fall off. Very good. That's the end. Jump down there, and the power star is right here. Just but I get that one first. The challenge that I just did was Mysterious Mountain Side. So you see how many coins I just got from going through that slide? Yep, more than half of the 100 coins. And now I'm gonna actually scale the mountain. I believe I mentioned before that the, the Power Star is at the very top of the mountain. And I'm going to take the shortcut again. Just going to leave Chuck Ya be this time. You can also see there's a monkey right here that you can catch. But by doing so, the monkey will take your hat and then you got to catch it again. So if you don't want to lose your hat, then just don't bother the monkey. In fact, there will be another challenge for Tall Tall Mountain that involves you having to catch another monkey in order to get the Power Star. And you won't be getting that challenge until after you complete Scale the Mountain. I am gonna side somersault up here, and this here is the very top of the mountain. And there's the Power Star. By completing this, you will then get the challenge that involves catching the monkey. And there it is. It's the mystery of the monkey cage. But you know what? I think I'm gonna do the 100 coin challenge right now. Speaking of which, I should mention right now that uh, doing the 100 coin challenge for Tall Tall Mountain in the Nintendo DS version of this game is actually much more difficult than in this game. And usually in other challenges, uh, the DS version challenges are easier than in this version, but not for the 100 coin challenge of this course. And the reason for that is because, well, remember the slide that I mentioned earlier, which has uh, a ton of coins on it? Well, for the DS version, 
you actually can't complete the 100 coin challenge if you go to the slide, because when you get to the end of the slide in that version, there will be a cage, and you can't jump... Well, you can't jump out of the area where the power star is. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Okay, so as I was saying before, you look up there and you can see that's the area where you get the power star after getting to the end of the slide. In the Nintendo DS version, that area right there will be caged and you can't jump out of it. And therefore, you can't go through the rest of the course so you can uh, finish the 100 coin challenge. So in other words, you can't really, uh, you can't get 100 coins if you go inside the slide in the DS version. Which is, which is what makes it more difficult than in this version. In fact, there's also... Not again! Okay, so once again, I was, I was saying that in the DS version, there's one challenge that involves you having to uh, get the winged hat as Mario, and then you gotta fly through the sky through a bunch of rings of coins. And that's one way, or that's a... That's one thing that you should do whenever you're doing the 100 coin challenge in that version. But in this version, there is there is no challenge where you fly through rings of coins. So, so in, in this version, you can complete 100 coin challenge by going through the slide. Since you can jump out of the area where you get the star. Stupid Monty Moles. And there's no need to get the last red coin, since I'm getting 100 coins right now. Oh god, the bob bombs are back. Let's throw one at Chuckya. It didn't work. Crap. Okay, fine. Gonna chuck him again. Let's get Shy Guy out of the way. Back off, monkey. I have no time to play with you. I got a log roll here. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, taking the shortcut. If I can get out of the water... And that 1-Up Mushroom right there, it respawns every time you re-enter the core, so as long, if you keep getting that, then you'll never run out of lives. I think I'm gonna go back to the slide right now. I'm gonna avoid those coins for now. I don't want the power star to appear while I'm still on the slide, otherwise I'll just zoom past it. Be sure to get all those blue coins. Oh, and make sure you always go to the uh, right path of the slide. The left path is death, in case you didn't see the skull and crossbone. Okay, so... Just jump down here, and you can continue with the course. Once again, you can't do this in the DS version. Okay, what did I just hit right there? There was some kind of invisible wall. Here's where I'll, where I'll get the last of the 100 coins. Get over here, you idiot. Alright, glad that's done.
I bake now. I'm gonna do the one where you catch the monkey. And there it is. Now, one piece of advice I have for you is to not actually chase the monkey. Otherwise, it'll just keep avoiding you. What you what what I recommend you do if you want to catch it easily is to get it into a corner like that, and then just approach it very slowly. Oh no, get back in the corner. Or maybe it'll just stay there. Gotcha, you little sucker. Outsmarted you, did I? Okay, so just choose to free the monkey, and then... You can see that there's a power star in this little cage right here. The monkey will break that cage in order for you to get it. Just gotta wait for it to come here. Okay, you know what to do. Oh god, I hope I didn't fall in the water. Well, I still got the Power Star anyway. Here we go. I got 100 Power Stars now. That means there are only 20 left. I guess now would be a good time to do the, the Red Coin Challenge. Let's go. So the first four are on these mushrooms. In fact, you already saw them earlier. Wow, that was close. And of course, you already saw that the last four are along these... Come on, get up there. Five and six are right here. That's seven, and the last one just gotta go even higher. All right. All you gotta do now is jump over to that mushroom, and you're good. I think for the next one, I'm going to do the challenge that involves having to get blasted out of the cannon onto a, another mushroom that has a power star on it. Okay, so Brad taking view from the bridge. That's a different challenge, which involves you having to go through a waterfall to get a power star, but I'm going to come back for that one. There's the mushroom over there with the power star, and you gotta use the cannon in order to get to it. And you can see the cannon is down there. And in order to get to it... Well, first I'm gonna go back to the other mushroom where you get the power star from the red coin challenge. Jump over here, and then do a long jump over here. And it'll lead you right to the cannon. Just gotta keep shimmying along this narrow path here. And obviously, you gotta make sure you aim perfectly so you don't either overshot it or undershot the Power Star. Alright, good. One left, and then Tall Tall Mountain will be done. So, you can see that the power star is right there. You gotta go through that hole over there that's behind the waterfall.
Now, I'm not so sure exactly how you're supposed to get over there, but here's one way that I know how. Even though it's not exactly uh, a very strategic way. Ah, huh, well, <laughs> got to it on the first try. I was trying to make sure I don't overdo that long jump right there. But now, that's it for Tall Tall Mountain, and for this video as well. See you later in part 14. Bye everyone.